watching Fox 47 News at 10. Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Caleb, it's not really hard to talk about today's weather. We saw plenty of sun and it was in the pleasant mid 60s. I know it's cooled off since though. Yeah, it has cooled. You can honestly probably just do this. Lots of sunshine. It's a pretty, <laughs> pretty basic forecast here. But yeah, it was a beautiful day today and tomorrow is going to feature beautiful conditions as well. I'll start off by looking at the sky cam here, looking over Interstate 496 in downtown Lansing. We're at 54 degrees for current temperature, so average overnight lows for this time of the year. Are uh, 56 degrees, so we're already below that, and we are falling off pretty quickly. We do have some high clouds uh, to contend with right now, but those should dissipate pretty quickly here moving through the next few hours. Well, here is what we are tracking. So the cool weekend is going to continue tomorrow. Today was on the cooler side with highs only in the mid to upper 60s. We, we are, however, expecting the 80s to return next week. We actually could potentially get into the low 90s, uh, especially Thursday and Friday. And we're looking at sunny conditions. We've been sunny through the weekend and it's going to continue through the middle of the next work week, even into next Thursday. Well, here's the satellite and the radar. Duke uh, satellite was picking up on those clouds that move through and I expect those to kind of continue to move through pretty quickly here and then uh, we'll be left with mostly clear skies for much of the night. Zooming out, we have this big area of high pressure at the surface, keeping our conditions fair, generally keeping them dry, that is. But it's what's happening aloft is what's driving our temperatures. We have an upper level area of low pressure that's helping to pump uh, colder air out of Canada. And that's going to stay with us tomorrow and for the beginning of Monday and eventually move off to the south and east, allowing uh, upper level high pressure to move in, bringing warmer temperatures for the remainder of the next work week. And here are the temperatures right now. Again, everybody is on the cooler side. 53 in Owasso. Elma's already at down to 47 degrees. 54 in Lansing, 55 in Jackson, and 53 degrees down there in Hillsdale. Let's go ahead and time things out for you. This isn't very exciting. There's not a lot to show you here, but, we, it's, but it's exciting to say because we're going to have mostly clear skies through the overnight hours. Tomorrow we'll start off gorgeous, a lot of sunshine, and continuing through the day we'll see mostly sunny skies, not a thing popping up on the uh, tracker here. So we're expecting not a lot of cloud cover to say the least. And that's going to continue Sunday night into Monday, starting Monday off beautifully again. Do see some showers, try to work into southern counties, but high pressure says no, that's that's not going to happen. And we stay pretty, pretty nice on Monday as well. We're going to see that continue Tuesday and even Wednesday as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our temperatures, how they'll unfold. You can see cooler temperatures from Great Lakes region to the northeastern United States. Uh, that's because of that upper level low pressure system. Tomorrow morning, it's, you can see that cold air really digging into our region. Temperatures getting into the low to mid 40s. So very cold start today. Definitely jacket weather starting things off for the second day of the weekend. And then you warm up a little bit, but not a whole lot. We should be in the upper 70s this time of the year, and we're not going to get there. You can see to the west, warmer air that will eventually get to us. You can see our temperature trend, how that's going to unfold. Again, tomorrow, 70 for a high, 77 Monday, so we start to warm up. 84 for Tuesday. This is when the humidity starts to climb, too. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we get up to the 88 and 90 degrees Thursday. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if those temperatures ended up getting into the low 90s. Now, the Climate Prediction Center does have us right around average for the first week of summer, the first full week of summer uh, for, the, for across mid-Michigan, where an average temperatures are in the upper 70s. So, would definitely give me a nice stretch of weather beyond or to start off the summer months for us. Here's the forecast tonight. We'll get down to 42 degrees. Again, cold start to the day tomorrow, mostly clear skies. For tomorrow, we'll see a high temperature of around 70 degrees. Plenty of sunshine. Tomorrow is going to be a great day just to spend outside. Whether or not you want to go to a restaurant that's offering that outdoor seating, I think it would be a good day to take advantage of that. East northeast wind, 6 to 12 miles per hour. We'll be a little bit gusty getting up to around 20 miles per hour. Here's a seven day forecast. Uh, you can pick up the theme here and it's sun, lots of it. Sunday through Thursday before we finally start to see clouds on the increase. Then we'll see, a ch I think, a chance for scattered thunderstorms coming next Friday and Saturday. Cool.